I could picture prisoners looking at that or seeing that or somebody who's actually hard or from the streets thinking, Elvis, you're, you're so fake. You're such a poser dressed up and dancing around in the jail. Whereas Johnny Cash was the exact opposite. Prisoners, they love this guy. He's real. Welcome back to the Noise On podcast. I am Greg Noise, a millennial. Matthew Noise, Gen Z. Welcome to episode five of the Noise On Music podcast series. Today's episode is on the man in black, Mr. Johnny Cash. Can you say it in, in a Johnny Cash voice, though? Johnny Cash. In this podcast series, Noise on Music, we feature dozens of music legends from across genres and generations. We do like to stay in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and even the 80s. The sweet spot, the epicenter, lands right in the mid to late 60s. My daddy always told me that his music was the best music and I sometimes thought otherwise. And me too. But we've come to the light, we realize and recognize that classic rock and roll was the renaissance of American music. It gave birth to and influenced so many other genres, like funk and soul and metal and alternative and so much more. If you're watching on YouTube, enjoy the slides and the visuals. If you're listening on Spotify, Apple Music, or otherwise, enjoy the sweet, sweet sounds that are coming your way. If you want to learn more about any of these artists, including Johnny Cash, or about American music genres. If you're teaching a music class, a history class, or even a music history class, there are plenty of links below to access slideshows, name that tune, guessing games, and our entire catalog of music resources. Check it out below. All right, Matthew, when you think of Johnny Cash, what's a word that comes to mind? Pioneer. Real. Raw. Baritone. Cowboy. Gospel. Country. Black, comma, man in. Yeah, man in black. Simple. Complicated. Is there anybody that you can think of today that sings music today that sounds like or is in any way like Johnny Cash, who is his modern equivalent? I think all of modern country music today is his equivalent because um, he's the king of country. Everyone's just trying to be like him. Well, that's deep. So all of country music. There's one country singer, and it's not even like he's the greatest country singer. I mean, he's, he's pretty awesome. But there's one country singer that reminds me the most of Johnny Cash, and that's Eric Church. There's just something about Eric Church, about his attitude, his swagger, that reminds me of Johnny Cash, the man in black. Eric Church, it, it seems like his songwriting, his his lyrics are very much poet-like, just like Johnny Cash was. So all of country music, that's good. I'm going to say Eric Church in particular. Where does Johnny Cash rank for you in terms of all-time favorite artists? That's kind of hard because... I listen to very different music sometimes. We just recently watched a documentary and I was really inspired by his life story and um, everything that was in it. So I think he's probably in my top 40. He should be higher though. Top 40. I'm going to say this. If you would have asked me, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, I would have said he doesn't rank anywhere near the top because I was conditioned by my mom to hate country music. She used to say country music makes my ears bleed and that's what i heard growing up so i didn't listen to country music didn't really like country music until my wife introduced me to it really and then i couldn't get enough of it it's like where's this been all my life and that's when i started to appreciate johnny cash and you hear country singers today even reference johnny cash in their songs all the time too like he's a big deal and he's the king of country he's the greatest country singer there ever was if you ask him he would say he's a gospel singer he would say yeah he's also a country singer he's a gospel singer he's pop as well he would say that because some of his songs crossed over to popular music he's rock and roll he's a lot of different things i would rank johnny cash somewhere in terms of how much i like this guy as a musician he's probably in my top 12 he's he's up there but at the same time I don't like listening to his music as much as a lot of other people. I just I just love the guy. I love who he is. I love his story. I love his redemption, his highs and lows as a sinner and a saint. I just I just love I love Johnny Cash. His music, some of it's pretty awesome, but I just love the person. So Matthew, you're a youngster, you're a generation Z. Why should somebody care about Johnny Cash? Who cares? I mean they should care because he became the definition of the best country singer there ever was. Obviously people are gonna be repelled and not like him as much, but you can do your best to truly see out seek out his story and, and see him for who he was and what he stood for and how he carried himself. I'll add to that, I think people should care because Johnny Cash also is crossing lines between genres. 
it seems like a lot of the legends, a lot of the artists that we're covering, that's the case. And that's probably why they're legends is because you don't put them in a box as just one type of musician. The only exception maybe being like Bob Marley, like he's, he's clearly reggae, right? But Johnny Cash, a lot like other people, they're, they're pioneering new, new types of music and combining former genres to make their own sound. What award does Johnny Cash get if you just had a made up award? He's the greatest what? The most what? He'd be the greatest country singer of all time. I agree. I'd also say he's the most real. Seems like who he is on the stage is who he really is. Do you have any other ones? Maybe even the greatest baritone of all time. Ooh, that's good. Greatest baritone of all time, greatest country music singer, most real. I like that. All right, let's get into our three truths and a lie. I got four statements. You'll find out by the end. Number one. Cash was known as the man in black since he often wore black. Number two. Cash was successful in gospel, rock and roll, and country music. Number three. Cash married June Carter in 1953, staying married for 50 years. Number four. Cash continued performing and recording until his 2003 death. Three of those were very true. One of them, very false. See if you can figure it out by the end. All right, we're looking at our timeline of American music genres from about 1900 till the present. And Johnny Cash plops right in the middle, just before the 1960s. He had a breakout, I'd say, at around 57. If you look at the advent of country music, that was at least 30 years before in the 20s. So Johnny Cash is not the inventor of country music. He's not the first pioneer of country music. He himself listened to all kinds of other country legends before him on the radio growing up in Arkansas, like Jimmy Rogers was, was one of his favorites. So he's not the first. He's probably easily the most famous. Let's look at a few Johnny Cash quotes i'm gonna read one that's actually lyrics from his song man in black where he explains he says i wear the black for the poor and the beaten down i wear it for the prisoner who has long paid for his crime but is there because he's a victim of the time johnny cash definitely identified with the underdogs do you have any quotes that stand out to you matthew sometimes i am two people johnny is the nice one cash causes all the trouble i love that johnny cash as as we've learned more about him seems like such a real guy such a nice guy but at the same time i feel like he could actually probably beat you up like he seems like he's got a like a temper and a mean streak in him definitely had his marital problems as we'll get to i like that quote johnny's the nice one cash causes all the trouble here's one life is rough so you got to be tough now we looked at elvis and in a previous podcast and elvis obviously a legend in his own right elvis was the performer elvis there's something about like if you watch jailhouse rock where i could picture prisoners looking at that or seeing that or somebody who's actually hard or from the streets thinking elvis you're you're so fake you're such a poser dressed up and dancing around in the jail whereas johnny cash was the exact opposite arrested i think like seven times driving recklessly having drugs I mean, Johnny Cash, when he when he sang about prison and actually went to a prison, which is one of the highlights of his career, the prisoners, they love this guy. He's real. Like, he's one of them. He would identify with them. Having been in the military, he said that was a lot like prison. You're isolated, lonely, someone telling you what you can and cannot do. They loved him. I can't imagine prisoners loved seeing Elvis dancing around in a jail on stage. Let's look at some quotes from other people about Johnny Cash to get a sense of what people thought about him. I'll start with this one from Adele. She says, I'm like Johnny Cash. I only wear black. Chris Christopherson says, Johnny Cash has always been larger than life. Chris Cornell says, a true musician like Johnny Cash should be able to walk into a room with nothing but an instrument and capture people's attention for two hours. From Roland Jennings, I love Johnny Cash and I respect Johnny Cash. He's the biggest. He's like Elvis in this business, but no, he's never been the rebel. Michael Franti says Johnny Cash was a rebel, not only just in the musical sense, but he was somebody who was for the people and an advocate for labor, for workers, for prisoners, people who have been trapped by the criminal justice system. Let's take a walk through his career, highlighting some songs along the way. Let's start with 1957, I Walk the Line. This was Johnny's first big breakout hit. This put him on the map, put him on the radio. This made him a star. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the tie that binds Because you're mine I walk the line Now, let's fast forward to 1968 with Ring of Fire But we gotta stop to say that the 1960s was a tumultuous time for Johnny Cash It was a, it was a big decade for him A lot of touring, a lot going on He got married really young when he was out of the military Married his wife Vivian 
They had four daughters. Johnny was very much an absent father to his own admission during the 60s. Traveling all the time, as you could imagine with 1960s musicians, there was definitely some drug issues. Well, Johnny was different um, with the drug abuse. Um, it wasn't like cocaine or weed or heroin like other um, rock stars during this time period. The doctors uh, prescribed him with methamphetamine. His long tours. Yeah, he, he would take methamphetamines to stay awake. It was doctor prescribed, so I think in his mind he thought, well, if a doctor said to take this, it's a medication, I'll take it. And then he would take sleeping pills too to sleep when he needed to sleep. So he'd take the methamphetamines to stay awake, take the sleeping pills to sleep, and became addicted and it became a big problem. And ultimately, that's how one of the things that contributed to divorcing his wife in 1967. So Ring of Fire, 1968, the next year, ironically, was not one of his biggest songs, but he didn't write it. And Johnny was a writer. He was a poet. He wrote his own songs. He loved writing. He loved using words. I think Graham Nath once said that Johnny Cash never said too many words in a song and never said too few. He said just enough. Ring of Fire is written by June Carter. June Carter was his second wife. He got married to June Carter the next year. They stayed married until her death. Let's check out Ring of Fire. Love is a burning thing And it makes a fiery ring Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire. I fell into you know, I don't know if everyone is going to be able to pick up on this, but when I hear Johnny Cash sing, when I hear him talk, I hear Arkansas. And I'm not from Arkansas, but my grandparents are. Grandpa Paul was from Arkansas, came over to Vegas, and then California. And I remember hearing his brother, Gil, who wrote music, now that I look back, a lot like Johnny Cash. It sounded a lot like Johnny Cash, but to me as a kid, it sounded awful. I couldn't stand it, but he would sing about the Sisk brothers and just how they would always get into trouble. And now I see that Johnny Cash probably had a big influence on him. He sounds like my grandpa. He sounds like my grandpa's brothers. I can hear the Arkansas accent in that. I don't know. It, it, Johnny Cash is interesting because he seems to represent so many different regions of the United States. He's not just like from Arkansas. He also moved to California. He, he did the Folsom Prison stuff, which so a lot of people on the West Coast identify with Johnny Cash. He's a country Western singer. So everyone in the West that loves country identifies with him from Arkansas. A lot of people from the South identify with him. Now here's a clip from his first performance of Man in Black in 1971. I wear the black for the poor and the beaten down Living in the hopeless, hungry side of town I wear it for the prisoner who has long paid for his crime But is there because he's a victim of the time I wear the black for those who've never read Or listened to the words that Jesus said about the road to happiness through love and charity why you think he's talking straight to you and me now we fast forwarded a couple decades into the late 80s here and johnny cash i think it's safe to say by this time he was largely irrelevant which is so weird to think for such a legend matthew why was that so I think it had a lot, of, a lot to do with him returning more to gospel and fighting for the outcasts. He to climb in popularity. The radio didn't really like him because he would always be fighting for the, the Native Americans, African Americans, and the women that weren't given their rights. Yeah, this is one thing I really respect about Johnny Cash. Johnny would come out and say, this country needs to own up to its mistakes. Look what we've done to Native Americans. Look what we're, we've done to black America. Look what we're doing to women. Look what we're, what we're doing to immigrants. And so radio DJs didn't play his stuff. When he said, hey, I want to write gospel. I want to sing gospel. I want to record gospel, which in addition to his, his other country stuff, they didn't want none of that either. Cash actually took out a full page ad in a magazine to call out these DJs. He even called them gutless. And to his own admission, throughout the 80s, he was just performing his old stuff. He wasn't writing new stuff. And I think that's where his sweet spot was, was always writing new stuff. All right, going a little bit out of order, let's back up to 68, this whole Folsom Prison bit. 
This earned Johnny one of his many Grammy awards. This is an unbelievable story. I, I cannot think of anything close to this where somebody decided they wanted to go play in a prison. If you're watching this on YouTube, watching the video of it, we have actually a photo from the film Walk the Line where Joaquin Phoenix played Johnny Cash. If you look at some of the real footage too, the prisoners are every bit as enthusiastic as you see in this remake in this film. It was wild. The prisoners loved this guy. Now, I remember when this movie came out, it was 2005. I think Ray, about Ray Charles, came out in 2004. I loved those movies, and I thought, man, these stories need to be told. There must have been other movies about musicians before that, but I feel like those were the first two modern movies that went over the life of a musician that started this trend. Because now, between 2005 and today, we've also seen movies come out about... Elton John. Yeah, Rocket Man. Queen. Bohemian Rhapsody was the name of the movie, right? And Aretha Franklin. Oh yeah, there's a new Aretha movie, the Elvis movie, Straight Outta Compton. There's all these movies that showcase the lives of these really famous musicians. But from my recollection, it started with Ray and Johnny Cash at Walk the Line, 2004, 2005. It's a cool movie. Check it out. It, it highlights a lot of the stuff about his life as well. So let's listen to one of those songs that Johnny Cash performed live at Folsom Prison for the inmates. Early one morning while making the rounds I took a shot of cocaine and I shot my woman down I went right home and I went to bed I stuck at 1144 beneath my head Got up next morning and I grabbed that gun Took a shot of cocaine and away I run Made a good run but I you know, super cool story. We'll go over it real briefly from this prison tour. The live recording of it won him a Grammy, obviously. But Matthew, tell him about the song he learned the night before. So there was a story of an inmate writing a song, and he gave it to Johnny because it was such a good song and it was well written. That's when he Johnny brought it upon himself to actually help this guy out of jail, and that's just how kind-hearted Johnny is. Yeah, and that former inmate sang songs and was was on TV with Johnny as well, and eventually turned back to to drugs and had an addiction that he had in prison and also out of prison. Ended up taking his own life probably because he didn't want to be a burden on people. He felt like he let people down, especially Johnny Cash. And I imagine that probably really messed with Johnny Cash because he, he did he did care about people and he felt like he was put in this position to help people, to save people. Remember, he did a lot of gospel stuff. He even would go on the Billy Graham Crusades and in front of 50, 60, 70, 80,000 people at these packed out arenas and venues where Billy Graham's preaching the gospel and doing altar calls and then Johnny Cash is up there singing gospel songs. He felt like he, he wanted to help save people. And that was an example of somebody he saved out of prison, but then you know didn't, it w worked out tragically in the end. Pretty wild story. Now, toward the end of Johnny's life, he did have a comeback. Not every musician has a comeback like this. There's a lot of record labels that didn't want to work with him. So Columbia had dropped him years before, and then Rick Rubin with American Recordings came to Johnny and basically said, hey, we just want you to come in and sing whatever's on your heart, and let's record it. And he did, and Johnny had like hundreds of songs ready to go and just did them with him and his guitar and his voice. You know how you can hear when somebody's singing and they're older, they sound like an older person? Johnny definitely had that. You can tell it's him, and he's, he almost sounded like like an older person when he was young too, he had because of his deep voice. But it is so powerful, the stuff he did. One song we wanna show is, it's not even his song, it's, it's by Nine Inch Nails. It's originally done as this kind of metal, heavy rock song, and Johnny does this stripped down acoustic version. It's called Hurt. I hurt myself today To see if I still feel I focus on the pain The only thing that's real The needle tears a hole the old familiar sting Try to kill it all away But I remember everything What have I become? My sweetest friend 
Everyone I know goes away in the end And you could have it all My empire of dirt All right, let's go over the quick bio, and we're looking forward to getting to our Johnny Cash Top 10 songs. Born in Arkansas in 1932, Johnny Cash was highly influenced by gospel music and a childhood of struggle during the Great Depression of the 1930s. In fact, he sang traditional gospel songs on a local radio station when he was still in high school. He entered the Air Force and married his first wife, Vivian, when discharged. That reminds me, we never even mentioned his brother. What happened with his brother? So his brother was his biggest role model in his life. He had an accident with a table saw and ended up on his deathbed with his family surrounding him, talking about how he was hearing the angels singing in the, in the train engine, sounding so beautifully in the distance, and nobody else could hear it. It was just very unfortunate for that Cash family. And Johnny remembered that throughout his life and almost felt like his brother was like a sacrifice, sacrificially died so that Johnny could go on with his career. And Johnny said he would always dream, his brother would be in his dreams throughout his life, almost like his brother would age with him. It was pretty pretty crazy. And then if you know anything about American history, 1930s, Great Depression, Arkansas in particular, you got the Dust Bowl. That was probably, I mean, the center of poverty in America. Johnny had a really, really rough upbringing there. All right, Cash had four daughters with Vivian, began gaining recognition for his original country songs by the mid-1950s. By 56, he recorded Folsom Prison Blues, and that was in the country top five. His song, I Walk the Line, was number one on country charts and top 20 on the pop charts. As his popularity grew, Cash toured often, and Vivian filed for divorce after years of rumors regarding his being unfaithful. Johnny Cash famously proposed to singer June Carter on stage in Canada in 1968, marrying her shortly after having one son together. They would remain married for 35 years until their deaths in 2003. Throughout his career, as nicknamed the Man in Black, Cash was a trendsetter in terms of attitude, sounds, and being the man of the people. Yeah, he was an outlaw. That was his persona. Yeah, Johnny and June had this TV show, the Johnny Cash Show. It was on for several years, and he would have all kinds of people on that show, and it was just real music. And it's hard to make music translate onto the screen. And Johnny would have all kinds of people. He would have, I mean, even Ray Charles was on there singing Johnny Cash's songs. And he had Stevie Wonder on there. He had some people that, again, if you think about race relations and stuff like that, this really turned off a lot of his audience that didn't approve of him having black artists on the show and hugging them and singing with them. But that's what, it, that's what he was about. During his career spanning several decades, Cash became arguably the biggest name in the history of country music. He wrote and recorded a number of legendary songs such as I Walk the Line, Folsom Prison Blues, Ring of Fire, Get Rhythm, Man in Black. Cash also is the only artist in the Country Music Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and Gospel Music Hall of Fame. He's in all three. Cash is considered to be one of the most influential musicians in the 1900s and having sold over 90 million records is one of the best selling artists of all time. He will be remembered for his deep distinctive voice, his duets with June, for his free shows in prisons, and his humble redemptive themes in his late career. Alright, so the skinny. In short, Johnny Cash changed music history having huge success across genres, country, rock and roll, gospel, and by being a trendsetter and a man of humility and a man of the people. Three truths and a lie. Matthew, let's see if you figured it out. This, this should be an easy one. Cash was known as the man in black since he often wore black. True. Cash was successful in gospel, rock, and roll, and country music. True. Cash married June Carter in 53, stayed married for 50 years. False. Yeah, he got married to Vivian and divorced and then married June in 68. Cash continued performing and recording until his 2003 death. True. Bada bing, bada boom. There's your answers. Okay, if there's one song that represents Johnny Cash, we call it... The Identity Song. That song would have to be Ring of Fire. Ironically, this was not written by Johnny Cash. It was written by June Carter. But let's take a look at the lyrics real quick and see how much this represents our guy, Mr. Cash, the man in black. The chorus says, I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. Makes me think of his drugs. His marriage problems. Also, his legal problems. I mean, he was literally an outlaw because he was outside the law, got arrested a number of times for different stuff. 
I'd also say the poverty and the tragedy of his early upbringing. Yeah, that's good. Then he says, the taste of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet. I fell for you like a child. Oh, but the fire went wild. So maybe fire is a good thing in that sense. And then the, also we got to point out that a lot of people, there's this narrative that Johnny and June were just happily ever after and they had their good times and she seemed like a really sweet person and just what he needed. But they, according to, to their son, sometimes they got really ugly. Johnny had to work through a lot of stuff, still had to overcome drug addiction and stuff like that. Uh, well into the 80s too, when they had been married for some time. So Ring of Fire, this is almost like a gauntlet, almost like a trial or a series of trials. And Johnny definitely had his trials. Let's do it. Top 12 songs. Now we snuck in a couple extras, just honorable mention. This is not Johnny's song. This is a Bob Dylan song, but there's this amazing recording of Girl from the North Country where Johnny Cash and Bob Dylan sing it together. Take a listen. If you travel it in the North Country Fair Where the wind hit heavy on the borderline Remember me To one who lives there For she once was A true love of mine Another honorable mention, since he's nicknamed the Man in Black, we got to put Man in Black as an honorable mention. Now for our real top, usually we have a top 10 list, but we added a couple extra top 12 list for Johnny Cash. Coming in at number 12, spiritual. Jesus, oh Jesus. If you hear my last breath So I'm sure you could hear it in his voice. That's an older Johnny Cash singing that song. That's from 96. So several decades, almost four decades after his big breakout in 57. This is when he was an older man. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to die alone. Number 11. Were you there? My Lord. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there? That's not Johnny Cash's original song. That was an old gospel song that was written probably 30 years before he was even born in the late 1800s. So 12 and 11 are both Johnny Cash gospel songs. Let's go to number 10. Number 10 is Greystone Chapel. Inside the walls of prison, my body may be, but the Lord has set my soul free. There are men here that don't Greystone Chapel also you. not written by Johnny Cash that was written by his prisoner buddy Folsom the giant performance the ones who pray But I've got down on my knees in that Greystone Chapel And I thank the Lord for helping me each day Number 9 time I kill. hung my head I see the gallows up on the hill and out in the distance, a trick of the brain. I see a lone rider crossing the plain. And he comes to fetch me to see what they done. And we'll ride together till kingdom come. I pray for God's mercy, cause soon I'll be dead. I hung my head, I hung my head. Number eight. 
further on up the road. Where the road is dark and the seed is sown, where the gun is cocked as the bullets comb, where the miles are marked and the blood and the... And that was one of his early hits from the 50s. Number seven. Rock Island Line. Love this song. Very unique. I got pigs, I got sheep, I got mules, I got all livestock. Well, they said, you're all right, boy. You don't have to pay no toll. You can just go right on through. So he went on through the toll gate. And as he went through, he started picking up a little bit of speed. Picking up a little bit of steam. He got on through, he turned, looked back to man, he said, Well, I fooled you, I fooled you, I got pig iron, I got pig iron, I got all pig iron. Down the Rock Island line, she's a mighty good road. Rock Island line, it's a road to ride. Rock Island line, it's a mighty good road. Well, if, if you ride, you got to ride it like you find it. Get your ticket, that's a station called the Rock Island line. That Rock Island line oh, song just keeps West, building, and, and like the rain. tempo changes throughout. It's pretty cool when he sings about Northbound stuff that he would probably go to in right right Arkansas well, with those Rock farm animals. Number six, greatest Johnny Cash song. Jackson. We got married in a fever, hotter than a pepper sprout. We've been talking about Jackson ever since the fire oh, went I'm going out. To Jackson. I'm going to Jackson. I'm going to mess around. Maybe it should have been called I'm going to Memphis. Yeah, I'm going to Jackson. All right, let's get into the top five. And we forgot to say it this time, Matthew, but we spent some time on this list, and this is the right list. So if you disagree, too bad. This is the real top Johnny Cash songs, and this is the correct order, right? Mm-hmm. Number five. Go tell that God's going to cut you down. Liar. Go and tell that midnight rider. Tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's going to cut him down. Super cool beat. I actually first heard that song, God's Gonna Cut You Down. It was a Moby remake of this song. My head's been wet with the midnight dew. I've been down on bended knee. Number four. Hit him with it. I walked the line. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the tie that binds. What do you think that song means? Because I walked the line. What's he walking? I think he's I walking between two worlds as a sinner and a saint. What do you think? Sounds pretty right. Walking between being upright, being an outlaw. Reminds me of a bunch of Eric Church songs, actually. Dang, if I walk the lines number four, what do we got in store for the top three? Number three. Folsom Prison Blues. I hear the train a coming, it's rolling around a bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging on. But that train keeps a rolling on down the sand and tone. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Now, I always wondered if Johnny was that singing that song blowing. with somebody in mind, like my somebody who actually I'm shot dry. a man in Reno just to watch him die. But then later I heard Johnny talk about it and he said that he just was imagining a crime like that and that's what you might get thrown in prison for. So. It wasn't like inspired by a true story or anything like that. Number two, greatest Johnny Cash song of all time, goes to Hurt. Everyone I know go 
goes away in the year And you could have it all That song has such a powerful build to it, and the lyrics, even though they're not Johnny's lyrics, seem to match his life, especially when he's singing as a man in his 80s, this old man, singing about what have I become, my empire of dirt, recognizing that he's not going to take anything with him out of this life, going to heaven. And that brings us to our number one Johnny Cash song of all time, and clearly, obviously, it is. The taste of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet I fell for you like a child oh but the fire went wild I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, 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 down as the flames flame burned higher, and it burns, 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 burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. The ring of fire. All right, last but not least, out of these top 12, 13, 14 songs, we have three special awards the Dark Horse Award that goes to a song that is lesser known or underrated that made it up higher on our list, the Hate It or Love It Award as the name implies a song that some people love, some people hate. And then the most played song award, according to Spotify. Matthew, what do you think is the most played Johnny Cash song on Spotify? I'd say Ring of Fire or Hurt. It is actually Hurt, that acoustic and piano version. Super cool. Top played song on Spotify for Johnny Cash. Hate It or Love It award goes to Johnny Cash himself. Like I told you before, my mom taught me that country music makes her ears bleed and Johnny Cash definitely has a country music sound and so I didn't want to listen to that for a long time until I wised up and saw the value in it. So Johnny Cash, you either hate it or love it when it comes to his music. Dark Horse Award, we got two in fact. Were You There? So that's a gospel song a lot of people probably never even heard of and then God's Gonna Cut You Down. I think if you had a hundred other people make a Johnny Cash top songs list, I don't think any of those hundred people would put God's Gonna Cut You Down in his top five, but we did because it's such a cool song. We hope you enjoyed listening or watching. Hope you enjoyed the music. As always, if you want to learn more about Johnny Cash, about any of these artists, about any American music genre, or if you're teaching a music class, a history class, or a music history class, there's all kinds of links below to awesome activities and games and resources for music and our entire catalog of music resources. Matthew, again, tell them, why are we doing this? To bring the music of the old to the youngsters of today. That's right. Tune in next time for the next Noise on Music podcast. We're out.